So you can leave your stilettos at home, ladies, because you just gained four inches with this bun. Hey everyone, I'm Amron with Beauty TV, and today I'm gonna to show you how to get this dramatic bun for all of you bold ballerinas. I'm gonna have my lovely model here, Lauren, flip her hair over for me. And our objective now is to get all this hair secured and up into a really nice high ponytail. I'm using a boar bristle brush to get all of this hair nice and tight from the root all the way up into the direction that I want it to face. And your goal when you're brushing this hair up is to obviously end up to where you want that ponytail to sit. And then also making sure that you're working towards the center so your bun isn't lopsided at all. All right, so now I'm happy with what I have so far and we'll go back at the end and kind of clean up some of those flyaways. So what I'll be using next is just a regular simple hair tie, something that's nice and thick, really strong depending on how thick your hair is. If you have a lot of hair, you can probably use two because you really want this ponytail to be nice and snug. And at this point, I'm gonna hold all of this hair out of the way. I'm gonna go in with a light hold hairspray. I love this product by r Co called Outer Space. And I'm just gonna go ahead and lightly, this is about the first round, kind of just mist everything and go back in with my boar bristle and just gently comb up. And what's gonna happen is, as you can see on this side, it's gonna get nice and smooth, but towards the ponytail, it's gonna get kind of bunched up. That's totally fine because in the end, that's gonna be covered up. Now for the fun part, we have all of this hair to create our ballerina bun. So what we're gonna do is take small sections, just like that, lifting it straight up. And we'll go in with a pick, depending on your hair texture. Her texture is really fine, so this will work pretty nice. We could also go in with some sort of a, a rat tail comb or a teasing comb of any kind. But our objective is to really get this nice and ratted. So somewhere along the lines of that per strand, you can see how big it gets and how expanded it looks. That's our goal. And this is where it starts to look kind of crazy. All right, so now that I've finished teasing all of this, what I wanna do is kinda mesh all of these sections that I took into one. Go ahead and grab a little bit of our light hold hairspray again. So I'm gonna use my outer space just to really, really lightly kinda solidify a little bit of this. And now we're gonna get to the part where we're actually gonna shape our bun. So I'm gonna go in and find the center of the hair tie where all of the hair kind of splits out from. And this is where you can kind of get creative with it. You can allow this look to be as dramatic and kind of high fashion and large as you want, or as small, sleek, and more ballerina-esque. So what I want to do is carefully move this, all of this ratted hair around that hair tie, just like that. And I'm gonna go in with my pins and secure all of this ratted hair to where all of that hair bunched up around the hair tie when we were brushing it all up. All right, so instead of tucking the hair under, I'm kind of just letting it do its thing and wrapping it around and securing the bottom part to her actual scalp. And at this point, you can see that it gets pretty big. We can take that down as well, depending on how you want to wear your bun. For more of a ballerina look, we kind of want to tone it down a little. So what we're gonna do is just take sections, not pulling or tugging on the bun too much, but taking and slightly tucking, and then pinning again. So this will be a second row of pinning. So we'll go in with our tail comb. And we're gonna make sure that we get a nice rounded effect out of all of this. The size of the bun is all dependent upon the look that you ultimately want to achieve. I like playing with the size of these buns because I think it allows you to take this ballerina bun idea to a whole different level. And now the last step is to go ahead with our light hold hairspray again and just gently mist all of this and get all of these hairs nice and secure. All right, so this is our finished ballerina inspired look. Depending on the length of your hair, you can get it as big or as small, as wide, as slim as you want it. I think this is a great look. It's good for day, for night. You can see the side. Kind of makes a little bit of a statement. I hope you enjoy it. Like this video and subscribe for more. And you can find me on Instagram at Amron Asylum.